Yes. You call that a strike? Step aside. Make way for the bowling master. Me. Open your peepers, everybody. Check this out. Oh. Ha, easy. <laughs> now, watch and learn. for you, Dad! Where's your dad, Joey? <sighs> My dad's a pilot. He's always busy. deciding throw. And here it comes. Wow! That bird flew right into the path of the ball. Just feathers everywhere. Crazy. A rare occurrence indeed. I'm calling that pitch a ball, zero and one, and Weiserman's winding up the next pitch. Oh my goodness! You have got to be kidding me! A second bird has just been murdered by rookie pitcher Jesse Weiserman. Let's go to the slow-mo. Yep, there it is. Perhaps some sort of friend or loved one of the first bird flying in to get to the body of its dead bird husband, or perhaps its dead bird wife. 
And the ups calling this one a ball two. And here comes the next pitch. Let's see if Wiserman cannot commit bird murder or birder, which is of course a portmanteau of bird and murder. And here's the pitch. Oh my God, what? A bird's nest in the catcher's hand destroyed by Jesse Wiserman. Let's see the slow-mo. Oh look, a bird's nest. That must be what the other two birds were flying to. Oh no! Jesse, why'd you have to kill the baby birds? Why? Incredible! It's as if rookie pitcher Jesse Weiserman has some type of deep-seated hatred of birds. That's seeded spelled S-E-E-D-E-D, -E -E -D, as in seeds, which is of course the joke. In all my years of announcing, I have never seen such a ruthless display of animal cruelty. And it looks like Ump's calling that one two balls on account of the two dead baby birds. The batter's walking, that's our game. Shame on you, rookie pitcher Jesse Weiserman. Shame on Ow. you. Ow. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt the birds. I'm sorry, Ow. I'm sorry, everybody. Ow. I'm you all down. Do you like a baseball, kid? Yeah, I want to be a baseball player when I grow up. Right now, I'm just in the junior leagues. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the junior leagues. Tell me, kid, you ever heard of Coach Murphy? Nope. Why is this corner so dusty? Aren't you a janitor? <laughs> not today, I'm not. Today, I'm just a simple man with a story. It all began when I was about your age. Do you like baseball, kid? Nope. I want to be a janitor when I grow up. <laughs> well, on an unrelated note, let me tell you the story of Coach Murphy. Strike three, you're out. This bites. If we don't win this game, we're out of the season. I wish Coach Murphy was here. He'd tell us how to turn this game around. Guys, guys, I got a letter. It's from Coach Murphy. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. I would have loved to be there and see you all win, but it seems I broke my leg from kicking a shark too hard. Anyway, I'm glad you boys weren't there to see it. I believe in you boys. I know you can win the big game if you set your minds to it. Sincerely, Coach Murphy. He's right. Come on, guys, let's do this. And the Seattle Sea Slugs win the state championship! We did it, guys! We're going to nationals! What's wrong, Max? Oh, I just wish Coach Murphy would have been here. Guys, guys, I got another letter! Dear boys, I'm sorry I missed the big game. I had to get a job at the tire factory to pay off my bookie, and both of my arms got ripped off by a conveyor belt. I'm okay now, but it was pretty ugly for a while. I'm just glad you boys weren't there to see it. Keep on playing, boys. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. I got knocked unconscious for two weeks by a meteorite. I'm just glad you boys weren't there to Dear see it. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. I was trying to see how many smells I could smell, and I accidentally overdosed. Dear boys, and then I had to go. Sorry I missed the big game. I've been slowly watching my daughter die. She's in full health, so it's taken quite a long time. Recently been sued by Microsoft. Needless to say, an apple fell on my head, and I discovered this thing I call fizz. Sorry I missed the big game. Afterwards, I fell into a bottomless pit. And then after you boys weren't there to see. Dear boy. We made it, guys. The biggest game there is. Well, it looks like my shift is over. But, but, I need to know what happened next. What am I gonna tell some other kid when I'm the janitor? <laughs> kid, you are the janitor. Wait, but what about the story? Just make something up. Whoa, what happened next, janitor? Did they win the big game? You bet they did, but that was just the beginning. We did it!
it! We're the Junior League World Champions! And Coach Murphy wasn't even here. Not for any of it. Well, maybe he had a good reason, Max. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. My dog turned blue and I had to paint it green again. And then my head turned into a bucket and it rained. Anyway, you kids keep it up. I expect great things from my boys. Introducing the first Junior League team to make it into the majors, the Seattle Seasons! <laughs> I'm telling you, Susan, these Seattle Sea Slugs, wow, simply unstoppable. Now they've won not only the Baseball World Series, but also their first Super Bowl. An incredible... Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. Turns out I'm a synthetic cybernetic mandroid and my bionic brain sphere was malfunctioning. The first baseball team to play a game on the moon. Then I got turned into a radish. I'm allergic to radishes, and needless to With say... With an astounding sweep of every Academy Award, the incredible true story of one baseball team... Me and that wizard must have dueled for 50 days. And so I appoint these fine young boys as the next Supreme Court of the United but States. But my parents shrunk me down to a miniature size, and I couldn't find any clothes that fit. Anyway, so we are hereby renaming baseball to slugball in honor of the Seattle Sea Slugs the greatest slugball team to ever exist. Coach Murphy did something remarkable with those boys. He turned them into men. That's stupid. None of that stuff happened. You're dumb. Baseball's still called baseball. You know, just because you're a janitor doesn't mean you get to lie to kids. <sighs> Some janitor I am. Couldn't even inspire one kid with a story about slugball. Well, there's more to being a janitor than that. Come here, kid. I want to show you something. The letters? But that means you. That's right. I was that boy. Now, wait a second, kid. All these boxes are empty. Where are the letters? Truth be told, there was only ever one letter. <clears throat> Dear boys, sorry I missed your big game. The truth is, I hate all of you. Generally speaking, I hate baseball. But really, I just don't like you boys. In fact, I've been coaching for the other team all season. Joe, you're a worthless pitcher with weird knees. Pete. You're a no-good fat ass who'll never make it to first base. And I don't mean baseball. Max, you're just a great A piece of shit. All of you are just fucking terrible. I hope y'all quit baseball and find something you're better at, like killing yourselves. Sincerely, Coach Murphy. P.S. Look behind you. And that's the day I decided to become a janitor. You know, there's a lot more to what we do than telling nostalgic stories and inspiring the young. Being a janitor is about sweeping, mopping, pouring wood chips on the vomit. And where that's concerned, you're the best damn janitor I've ever met. Now go clean up that corner. I'm bored. Yeah, me too. Do you wanna... Do you wanna race to that tree over there? Let's do it! Damn it! You gotta do something, Pops! She's going way too slow! I gotta win this race! Don't worry, Duke. We got you covered.
to a word I've been saying? <laughs> yes, coach. Ha! All right. Now let's go throw this match. <laughs> Have a boy. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another gruesome match? 
between our two Grizzly contenders. Are you ready to see who will be victorious in the next bloody bout? Let's bring in our next two fighters. Over in this corner, we have the Dean of Meat, the Bloody Bruiser, the Bone Breaker himself, Pain. Tonight we have a gruesome match between our returning champion, Baby with a Gun, and our challenger, Two Babies with Three Guns. Get those gloves up! Come on, is that all you got? One, two, yeah, that's right, that a boy, yeah! On your right! Oh, hey, don't let him get away! Right hook, left hook! Ah, <laughs> yeah! Give it to him, that's right, kid! All right, now let's go win this thing! So you like beating up girls, do ya? Yeah, does that make you feel like a big man or something? Championship match, please approach the scales for the weigh in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, kid, you got this. Touchdown away from winning this thing. 
Joey, you're gonna have to run it. You got it. Break! Joey Salas has conquered every sport imaginable from ping pong to NASCAR. It is for this unbelievable legacy that we commemorate him with this statue. I am so incredibly humbled to be given this honor, but none of it would have been possible if it weren't for the big guy in the sky. I love you, Dad. I am so proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. The whole world is wondering, why did you want to climb Mount Everest? Because it's there. How inspiring! Any further comments you'd like to tell people at home? You can do it, Daddy! Thanks, little hotshot. Clive, be careful out there. Kilgore's the deadliest bull since Tokyo Pete in 91. Don't worry, doll. Nothing I can't handle. Bull riding's what I do. Introducing six-time bull riding champion and devoted father and husband, Clive McFlogan! Hey, y'all, who for the night? Weighing in at three tons of pure muscle and malice. Alive, uh, miraculously, but I don't think it's a good idea to, ma'am, ma'am, please no. And now the star of the show, the man you've all been waiting for, the master of disaster, the Sultan of Catapulton, the High King of Viking, action stand, the suicidal stuntman.
Don't worry, folks, this trick is perfectly safe. <laughs> See? Perfectly safe. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, folks. There's been an accident. Your act is canceled. There's too much weight. I, I have to cut the rope. I, I'm sorry. Wait. Let me do it. Whoa! What the fuck, dude? There's too much weight. It has to be done. I'm sorry. What makes you think he can hold you? Trust me, he can. He's been working out. Tell him I've been working out. Well, if anything, can't we cut the piano off? Huh. Yeah, that might actually be a good place to start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow the fuck down. I didn't come all the way to perform the first sonata in the summer to this mountain just to fall off and die. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. There's no other way. I I'm so sorry. Your piano is just too heavy. Your mother's too heavy. Hey! You take that back. Make me. I take it back. Guys! I'm slipping! <laughs> nice. Thank you. Seriously, though, we're all gonna die! Hold on! We're... we're gonna figure this out! If I may, uh, if you're still deciding that whole where to cut the rope thing, um, pretty sure the guy below me is a pedophile. I'm a teacher, not a pedophile! This is a field trip! I've told you guys, like, nine times! Wait, there's kids down there? We can't kill kids! Not just that, they're retarded kids! Oh, God! This is bad! This is really bad! Hey, uh, can't we just cut off the panda bear? I should think not! That's an endangered species! Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What does everyone else think? Drop him. Ditto. Kill the panda. Cool. Here you go. Oops. Well, this is it! I don't know how, but we seem to be winning every game this season. Oh. <laughs> Huddle up here, team. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I am so proud of you, boys. I think y'all might actually have a shot at winning this thing. Now... Do y'all remember the promise I made before our first game? I vowed that if you boys won the championship match, I would, for you, eat an entire basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I am not joking, gentlemen. Oh. Coach. You really don't have to- No, no, you can't talk me out of it! I insist! I'd do anything for you boys. We don't need you to do that. Yeah, your motivation as our coach was enough. Don't try and stop me! If you boys do me proud and win this game, I will consume this entire basketball in my little mouth. And I will swallow it whole for my boys. <sighs> Uh, uh. Oh. Uh. 
Hey guys, I got another one. Yay, Dad! Yeah, yeah. You got good job, Dad! Yeah, good job, Dad! Go, Daddy! 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 Go, Daddy